Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 of our SWAT full course. In the previous tutorial, we complete the calibration process using SWAT cup with a SUFI2 algorithm. We define parameter range and import observation and evaluate our result using metric like NSC R square B by S. And in this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to validate your SWAT model using SWAT cup. There is two ways for validation using direct validation by pressing this and all information about the validation is listed over here okay and now we are in validation mode and this option needs license and since we don't have license uh, we will run SWAT cup using the final best parameter from calibration part let's get started here the number of validation should be 500 as you have done for calibration part the beginning year of simulation for validation is 2009 and make sure that there is no overlap in the period and i mean by overlapping time period is our calibration start from 2000 to 2008 so the validation will start from 2009 start from 2009 to 2019 for 11 years rest is fine and we have three years warm-up as long as we have three years warm-up period so the validation will start from 2006 and then when it's run will take three years as warm up and the run will start from the actual date of validation it's 2009 there is no change here go to the observe we have to copy the flow data for the validation art open file Yes, here in the calibration part, we start from 2000 to 2008, and now we'll start from 2009. We have to rename the numbering again to drag it down and copy first station for 132 days. Best it here. First, we have to change 132 best values here. Okay. 132. Copy the second station. Name it one, two. Drag it down. Copy the second station. Copy. Best here. One hundred thirty two. Copy, copy, and paste it here. Change this one. change 132 copy the last station copy test now we're done with the observed data and we have the same number of observed variable. Go to the extraction part. No further change in this one. And here we have to change only the beginning year of the simulation 2009, which is the actual date for validation without warm up period. And the int year of the simulation is 2019 and rest is fine, save, open this one, 
observe. We have to copy same value from the observe part. Copy first station just here and change this to 132. Best 132. Observe. Copy. Best. Copy. Paste here. Change the number one three two. Observe of the last station. Copy. Paste. After we copy the observe data, go to next step. And the parameters are fine, no further change will be done. And next, go to validation. If you have license, select validation. And this all information regarding the validation part, you can read it and have some insight about it. Click OK. As long as you don't have license, the model will not start to run. But I will show you another step to do validation using the best calibration parameter. And to do that, I will show you the previous model I have run. After you run the model multiple times and achieve satisfactory calibration results or when you observe that the parameter value no longer change significantly between iteration and you can copy the final parameter values from the new parameter file and paste them into the parameter section. As you see here, I have a multiple iteration and this calibration is the last calibration that I satisfy with the result. For that, then open calibration inputs. Here come to new parameter. Copy the new parameter and paste it in parameter section. And this is the best parameter for the calibration part. Let's go back to our previous model. Yeah. Go to calibration outputs, new parameter, copy this one, copy and paste it here instead of those value. Best, okay, and save. from view and then calibrate your model when you press calibration the model will start to run calibration again but this calibration will be considered as validation using the new parameter and make sure that you will not run your model multiple time and you have to run your model only one time this how to validate your model using best calibrated parameter in next tutorial we'll show you how to run your model using future climate data to run your model for future if you like this tutorial like share and subscribe if you have any question leave it in comment below see you next tutorial